Hey there, I'm Teller. I'm Shelby. And this is our 2003 Honda Element camper build. We chose a Honda Element for a few reasons. Number one, uh, they're pretty affordable. They stopped making these in 2011, and this one is a 2003, which was actually the very first model year. Um, they're also efficient as far as a camping type vehicle goes, something that has enough space to sleep in for a couple people to spend a, a camping trip in. It, this thing gets about 23, 24 miles a gallon. So for road trips, it's really uh, not too shabby. And, and I don't know that there's a whole lot of other camping options that do that well for the same price. Uh, and then also it's small, it's compact. It's the space inside the vehicle is super efficient because of the, the ugly square toaster shape that uh, lots of people hate on. It means there's actually a lot more interior room so we can camp in it, we can sleep in it, and we can spend time in it pretty comfortably without it being super cramped. So take a look at the plastics. We did a, just a couple like aftermarket kind of things to this. Um, one is we got better off-road tires uh, so that we can take it anywhere in the sand or snow uh, and they've done really well for us so far. And then also we, we actually plasti dipped the wheels black and then we raptor lined the plastics down here and along the bottom. So we don't have to worry about scratches or scuffs. It's plastic anyway so it's not a big deal but uh, you know we also like just the look of it too. So we happen to have the all-wheel drive uh, element and it is great. We've never gotten it stuck and we've gotten into some kind of hairy situations with it. And then one of the, the main drawbacks of Hondas after a long time tends to be the automatic transmission. But we kind of scored and got the unicorn, the manual, all-wheel drive. And so we absolutely love Elmo. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up and we can uh, show you around. One of the best things about the Element is this kind of uh, two-sided opening. We actually have a tailgate which expands our, our space. So when we're at camp, this works as a great bench, it works as a great cooking service, surface if we need it, um, and otherwise it acts as a great step to get into the bed. Now come on up here and I'll show you the inside a little bit. So first off, and I'll show in a separate video how we built all of these things, but it's symmetrical side to side. We've got two cabinets that live in the element. These never come out. They can, they can come out in about two minutes if we want to, but they really don't eat into the main cargo area uh, at all. And so we just leave them in there. They're really nice for being able to keep little stuff and tools and things like that in them while we're not actually camping. And then we just throw the bed in when it's time for a trip. So this bed has uh, three sections. Uh, there's two flat ones here, and then there's also the one that's tilted up right there. So it's kind of in recliner mode right now. And then there's storage underneath. But let's go around the side. So that you can see what it looks like from the front. All right, so this is what it looks like when we're driving. This space under here can hold a whole lot of stuff. We've got our, our water canister. It's actually empty right now. We've got a cooler. And then we also have a solar panel. Lots of people like to mount the solar panels on the roof. We opted for something that was a little bit more flexible. That gives us the freedom to park in the shade. And then we've got a long cord, so we can run uh, the, the panel 50 feet away and set it in a pocket of sunshine. That way we don't have to park in the sun uh, because this can get pretty warm inside. One of the best ways we uh, keep the sun out and so we can keep the temperature down is by using these uh, just reflective window cutouts, kind of like everybody else does. Uh, we just traced the shape of the window and then they slot in super easily and we can just keep out the sun or uh, if we're sleeping in it in a parking lot we do a lot at um, uh, rest areas and Walmart parking lots and stuff they give us great privacy 
as well. And then they just come out when it's time to hit the road again. So also under here that we'll, we'll access from this side, we've got our Coleman stove that we use for cooking at camp. And then also our got a camp kitchen. This is just a table that's nice to be able to set up if we're gonna stay somewhere for a while. Uh, and it doesn't take up much space inside, but it sets up into a nice little cooking and working surface. You can see if you come around here, actually I can just take that and show. This top panel of the bed has this cutout. The mattress also has the same cutout. You'll be able to see that in the build video. Uh, but we did that so that uh, it doesn't block the view. So you can still see straight out the back. You've got great visibility while uh, you're driving as well. Now I'll go ahead and convert this into sleep mode. One of the best parts about the element is that the seats go all the way flat. The front and back seats can do that. So uh, if you're in a pinch and you didn't you know, build a bed in the back, uh, you can still spend the night in there. I'm gonna go around to the other side. All right, so we'll slide seats all the way forward and seat all the way down and boom. Now we've got our bed. And anything that was there, the cooler, the stove, if we are just at like a, a rest area or something and we're not gonna be setting up, all of that stuff can go up here. When we travel with the dog with us, she'll oftentimes sleep up there or she'll start up there. And of course she'll migrate down uh, to cuddle with us. But um, come around this way and then we can look at the inside. We've tried a few different configurations for this camper, and I think we found the perfect one. Uh, I've, I've based a couple different builds on a few different YouTubers and, and my own uh, designs, but this one has the fewest moving pieces and the most convenient use of space for us. Uh, once upon a time, we had kind of the, the two-sided build uh, that a lot of people have where we've got kind of a storage cabinet on this side that came maybe to around here and then the rest was the bed over here uh, the problem was we had doors on that cabinet and they when they opened they opened into the like living area and so if you wanted to get into any of that especially when there's two people in here it was just a little bit too snug it was a pain to get into anything that was in the cabinet and then also for whoever was sleeping on this side, away from the cabinet, all our clothes, all our food, everything was on this side. So you were always reaching over the other person in order to uh, access your stuff. So we decided to split it up and remove the doors completely. So we don't have any doors that swing into our living space, our sleeping area. Instead, we just have these uh, kind of open cabinets and if you come a little bit closer, you'll be able to see they've got an elastic kind of retaining string uh, there that holds everything in while we're on bumpy roads. I can take this and just show a little bit closer inside. Uh, on this top layer, I've got my pants, t-shirts, uh, my melanzana, of course, underwear and socks. And then on the other side, you can see all Shelby's clothes as well. We've got our uh, Goal Zero Yeti 400 that we picked up off Craigslist. It works awesome and it lives up here. It's super solid. This, this top kind of counter has a lip on it that holds everything uh, in place while we're driving as well. You can see the dog leash there too. What you can't see in this uh, bed mode when the mattress is in is there is actually a second layer of storage as well. Now the Element has these uh, cubbies built into it and you'll be able to see that in the build video. Uh, they're awesome to be able just to stash uh, wet clothes, dirty clothes, things like that. And then up further, we have toiletries. So these are easy to access, um, but they're also kind of kind of private. You can't really see what's going on in them. 
So those are the cabinets. Uh, we've got three layers of storage on those, the three different shelves. And then underneath the bed, of course, we've got lots and lots of storage too. These crates fit perfectly under the bed. This one, we've got all of our kitchen stuff. We've got the sink, tongs, uh, nice cooking utensils, as well as uh, this great uh, soap that actually came from Costa Rica that suds up really well in cold water. So if you're camping and you don't have um, something, uh, you don't have hot water, you can, and you can find the soap, there you go. Uh, we got a pot, we got a skillet, we got the jet boil for when we just want to do coffee or something. Got a mocha pot as well if we're feeling fancy, cutting boards, uh, propane, things like that in the kitchen box. And then on this side, we've got more like the camp stuff. We've got these cool lights that charge via solar, but then you can just hang up uh, anywhere you want to do have a little bit of light and they're actually crazy bright uh, they were a gift from a friend um, and we really love them they make they make camp a, a fun place to hang out we've got our camp chairs of course as well as camp coffee table you can't live without that and the inflatable couch as well for comfort We've also got a couple hammocks in here. Uh, depending on the trip, we will uh, have a slack line or anything else that's fun, spike ball, things that we want to do at camp. And then we've got our his and hers puffin koozies. Now you'll be able to see this in the build video, but the shoulder area for the kind of the upper body is a lot wider We've got about four inches on either side of additional space. So for our shoulders, which are the widest parts of our bodies, uh, we've got plenty of space. And then we've got a little bit narrower space for our legs. Uh, it's still plenty. I think it's still about at its narrowest. It's still a little bit wider than a twin bed. Um, but then up in the shoulders, it's somewhere between a twin and a full. So it's cozy, but it's plenty for us. We've also got these little inflatable solar lights. I keep this one inflated so that it charges from the sunroof while we're on the road and while it's just sitting in the driveway. And these, one of these lights this thing up really well without having to use the dome lights and drain the battery. Ugh. Of course, since we don't have a shower or anything like that, we bring, bring some wipes for showers on the road. And I think that's pretty much it. So it's a simple camper. It's a one that we enjoy a lot. And I think this, after a lot of trial and error, this is the setup that is most efficient, maximizes our space while still providing plenty of storage for both of our stuff, everything we need for our trip. Thanks so much for watching our video tour of our little micro camper in the element. Uh, I hope it, it kind of inspires you to build your own or you can take something away from what we think is kind of the best layout for us. After a lot of trial and error, several different builds, uh, having these two-sided cabinets has been awesome for us. So if you want to see how I built it, go ahead and watch the build video I'm uploading as well. You can see how I traced all the contours of the sides and everything and where I anchored these. Uh, these cabinets, again, they live in the vehicle. Only the bed comes in and out. Now we can get the cabinets out as well. It takes about five minutes to get the whole thing disassembled and in the garage, but they're really handy to have in order to keep tools or keep our, our camp chairs in all the time, blankets, things like that, that we want to have, that we don't want to be floating around the back because the, this vehicle does have a, a lot of cargo space and things will kind of rattle around. So it's nice to have some smaller compartments for that. So if you want to see how I built it, go ahead and watch that video. Otherwise, thank you so much for sticking around for this one. I hope you have a, a great experience in your own uh, camper conversion vehicle, whatever it ends up being.